and welcome to Student Branding TV. I'm Derek Virginian. And I'm Eric Kazuko, and today we're going to be talking with you about what a personal brand is and why it's important for you to have one. Personal brand is basically how you market yourself to other people. It lets you show them both your personality and your skill set. It's a way to show people and actually demonstrate your skill set and your personality as opposed to just a paper resume where it's just a you know, laundry list of things that you claim to be able to do. A personal brand really demonstrates to people that you genuinely have these skills. And a personal brand has always been there, but the web has really amplified the importance of really honing and using your personal brand. Um, it's made it uh, possible to network with a lot more people all over the place through different social media platforms um, and that's why it's really important to have a distinct um, personal brand and we're going to kind of talk with you today about um, the four steps to kind of building and developing that brand. Derek did you want to? Yeah the there? first step of creating your personal brand basically comes down to discovery it's figuring out what you know what you're passionate about what you truly care about and what you want to brand yourself as. The other important aspect of that though is really bringing in your genuine personality into your brand, combining um, you know, your enthusiasm for origami, or maybe you're a, um, a, a soft-spoken person that's very interested in comic books. You know, they don't have to be um, necessarily complimentary, but the way you demonstrate yourself pairs with what you are interested in. So you bring the two together, and that's how you figure out what your personal brand is. That's really your launch pad for it. Yeah, it's really both those personal and those professional interests that kind of come together um, and form that. Um, and once you kind of have discovered who that person is, um, who you are um, in that sphere, um, it's time to kind of create that brand. And you've also you've always had um, those traditional tools of the resume, the cover letter, the business cards, those kinds of things. Um, but with the web come a lot more opportunities to do that. Um, there's online portfolios. There's a blog where you might... Um, blog about your specific professional or personal interests and kind of how those intertwine um, to kind of really become an expert in that area. Um, there's, you know, all different uses of social media through Twitter, through Facebook, through LinkedIn that you can be connecting through people um, and expressing your brand and um, kind of forming that. Can you think of any others off the top of your head, Derek? That yeah. Well, the next step where you're kind of going from there, talking about the social media stuff, is communicating your brand, sharing that identity with different people. And right. You know, a big part of that is sharing your content on Facebook and Twitter with other people that are interested in what you're uh, talking about. But you can also engage with people on different blogs um, and you know, share your content with them, joining the discussion. And of course, there are real world ways for you to be contributing your personal brand by putting it onto your business card or uh, including it in your email signature. The important point is that you're not just creating this content, you're not just saying that you have this brand, but you're actually sharing it and you're growing the brand. Because if people can't find you, if you're not visible, it's not like it doesn't really matter. So. Right. And, and once you do have it out there, um, the fourth step of this process is to kind of maintain that brand. Um, you know, build on what you've done in the past to kind of propel you to where you want to be in the future. Um, and there are a lot of resources both on student branding blog and personal branding blog um, that we'll be linking to also that will help you out with those kinds of things. You want to talk about the, the three laws of personal branding? Yeah, do you want to start? Sure, yeah, yeah. So the first one is being authentic, being, um, you know, true to who you are. If you're going to be building a personal brand so that you can network and connect with other people, you want to be sharing your genuine and authentic personality with other people. You don't want to pretend to market yourself as somebody else because when you go out there and you actually meet with these people, you don't want to have to try to fake to be somebody. The other thing is there's enough other people that are trying to pretend to be something they're not. And, you know, it really kind of says something to your integrity if you're being true to yourself. So. Yeah, and kind of going along with that, um, the second law, um, so to speak, is transparency. Um, and transparency means being straightforward and honest um, about who you are. And um, those things are essentially kind of tied together. When you know who you are and you're authentic about it, um, the transparency and um, being straightforward with that really kind of comes naturally along with. So. Right. And then the third law, which I kind of hinted at earlier, is visibility. Uh, if mm -hmm. you're not visible, if someone can't find you, uh, does your brand really matter? You know, if someone tries looking for, as I keep mentioning it, like an origami enthusiast, if they Google for you and they don't find you, you know, your personal brand is not really strong because nobody can find your identity. So being out there, sharing your content, sharing your identity, and engaging with people is really important. 
and along with being able um, to engage with people when you have that strong personal brand and people being able to find you, um, there are a host of other benefits that come uh, with as well. Yeah, the so. first one um, that's great for people who are, you know, want to grow this great career over their lifetime, the people that maintain personal brands tend to get promotions a lot more often because they're consistently demonstrating their skill sets to their employer. Right. Yeah, um, and, and along with that also, um, as you're using this personal brand um, to help you get different places in the workplace, um, happiness comes along with um, when you're building a strong personal brand, that will bring more opportunities um, for new business and for um, new ways to share your interests um, and ways to use your brand. And along that, uh, with that, naturally comes happiness. Right. Um, and speaking of happiness, you know, people that maintain their personal brand also tend to receive higher compensation for their jobs. Just like mm -hmm. the promotions aspect, you know, if somebody's consistently demonstrating their skill set and proving to a company that they're, you know, worth their weight in gold or whatnot, um, the employer is going to be much more likely to give that employer a higher compensation as opposed to someone else that's just showing up because it's a job. Yeah, um, and kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but um, another uh, positive result of having that strong personal brand and really maintaining it is that you will bring in new business. Um, people are more likely to do business with people that they know and that they trust, um, and having that strong personal brand makes it easier for people to get to know you, both online um, and offline, and uh, when they know you better, um, they'll be more likely to trust you and the work that you do. Um, Derek, did you want to kind of sum up what sure, we've been yeah. discussing today? So the main today? takeaway here is that a personal brand is how you communicate yourself, how you market yourself to other people. And this um, this is important not just for a business sense, but as we also mentioned, you know, it's sort of a happiness thing too. You know, if you're branding yourself around something you genuinely enjoy, you're going to, you know, enjoy your work a lot more. Um, yeah. Um, and if you have any questions for us um, or you'd like to share one of your stories um, about personal branding and how it's helped you um, or you just have anything else that you'd like us to touch on in future videos, um, you can shoot us an email at studentbrandingtv at gmail.com. Um, you can also learn more at studentbranding.com. Is there anything else, Derek, that you think? That's about it. Okay, great. Well, thanks for being with us.